In part A of the question, we have to calculate the speed of an electron that has been fired perpendicular into a magnetic field. And from a prior unit on energy, we probably recall that kinetic energy is equal to one half times the mass of the electron times its speed squared. And we're gonna solve this for the speed, V. So to do that, we will multiply both sides of this equation by the reciprocal of one half or two. And doing so gives us a one on this side and then a two times kinetic energy on the other side. And then we have to divide both sides of this equation by the mass m, which will cancel it out on the right-hand side. And then finally, to solve for v, we would have to take the square root of both sides of this equation. So that is the expression that we will use to calculate the speed. All we need are two pieces of information. We have the kinetic energy of the electron that is given to us in the standard unit of joules right here. So we're going to be plugging it in for kinetic energy. And then the mass we will look up in a reference table. So we've gone ahead and have plugged in all of the values. This is going to give us the speed. Notice the mass again was looked up in the reference tables. And when you punch this into your calculator, you're gonna get a long string of numbers, 851163. This is gonna be meters per second. So that's an acceptable answer. If we wanna round it to three significant digits, we would take our decimal and we would shift it over one, two, three, four, five places to create 8.51. And then to move it back to where it belonged, we would have to raise it to the power of five, raise 10 to the power of five. So again, this is in meters per second. This is the correct answer to part A of the question. In part B, we need to determine the radius of the circular path. Now it turns out that if a charged particle is fired perpendicularly into a magnetic field, then the following equation applies. In this equation, we can easily calculate the radius. We simply need the mass of the electron, which we know. We just determined the speed V. The charge of an electron is a known value. And then the magnetic field strength was given to us in the question. That was that 0.235 Tesla right here in the question. So we'll go ahead and plug in those four values and that will give us the radius of the electron's path. And when we plug these values in, we get a radius of approximately 2.06 times 10 to the minus five. This will come out in meters. Your homework system might want you to do micrometers because it's such a small value. So we'll just set up a little conversion factor here. Perhaps we all know that one micrometer is equivalent to 10 to the minus sixth meters. So if we multiply by that conversion factor, the meters will cancel out. This will change it into micrometers for us. And we end up getting 20.6. And again, this would be in micrometers. So this is the correct answer to part B. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you're interested in making a small donation to my cause, I'd greatly appreciate it. But of course, please do not feel obligated to do so.